Messing with clans as a solo is no easy task, especially one of this size, and trying to do any significant damage to them is literally mission impossible. But do you know what? I was up for this task, and I wanted to build my base inside their compound. I promise you this guys, this is an epic video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, and if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, it's free. I hope you love this. Are you fed up of being hunted? Then check out my sponsor, Hunting Clash, and become the hunter today. Hunting Clash is a free-to-play game available on iOS and Android. You can use my link in the description now to download it free today. The hunting grounds are all around the world and are truly breathtaking with over 100 different species of animals to hunt. They have a wide range of weapons from sniper rifles to bows and exciting gear such as sonar and super buffs to test your hunting skills. You can do player versus player through duels, challenges, tournaments and championships. With new events weekly, you will never be short of new adventures. Killing that fox was just like killing a freshborn on Rust, but it's just a game. So the next time you find yourself struggling on Rust or your AFK crafting during the night because, well, they're long and boring, get yourself onto Hunting Clash and see if you can get all the animals before I do. So if you're looking for a new game to try, give Hunting Clash a go. Help support the channel by downloading the free game using the link in the description. What is this place? Hello. What is this place? The beach. I'm not beach, you beach. Oh, the beach. My bad. It's the beach. I just set you as friendly. Can you uh, take me to your base? No. It's far. Let me be teammate. No, no, I'm not the leader of my team. I want to be friends. I'm sorry, bro. You no. What's up guys, welcome back. So now I'm literally just starting on this server and I found this base, so I start eco raiding it when I come across an interesting character. Feels bad, bro. Why is he running around naked with a chainsaw and one hit? You're probably thinking, what a waste of time. But what I'm thinking is, if I wasn't eco raiding, I wouldn't have got the chainsaw. And now I can get a base down really quickly. I think this is a nice place to start my base. At this point in time, I had no intention of messing with this clan. I didn't even know this clan existed. I'm just setting up my base, minding my own business. Sign sealed, delivered, secured. I then went out to do some ocean farming because I needed a tier 1 workbench in order to craft swords in order to eco raid. Why? Oh my god, he didn't check my boat. That's so lucky. He's over there. Do I fight? No, he didn't. They were cutting me off at my base. I had to go back into the water and wait them out. Luckily, I had my oxygen tank. There's someone on the beach. I don't know how I got away with that. No, they're, they're over there. Fucking go. Oh, he's over there. Okay. They raid this. If they raid this place. I think I've chosen an awful place to live. Please tell me they're not coming back with booms. Just leave me the fuck alone. I think I'm being door camped. Should I go check? With the scrap I just got from the ocean farming, I was able to craft a tier 1 workbench which enabled me to craft swords. So I went to do this eco raid that I'd seen earlier. Looks like this is a spawn area as well, so I might be fucked. You have to raid a base that's all metal with one wood wall. You kind of have to. Quickly get in. Oh my god, they've just spawned. 
Now they're like, let's work together to get me. Look at that, look at that. Yes, oh, what? Okay. In can. So weird. Oh, he just spawned. He just spawned. And I'm out of here. Oh, are you actually shooting at me? No fucking way. There's a guy outside my base. Oh, they just raided me. I think they just raided me. Oh, oh did they just raid me? <sighs> no, they didn't. They just happened to be coming back from the beach. Are you kidding me? They looted every... Oh, did I have anything good on me? I don't think I did. Fucking dicks. Blue cards, green cards. Oh, actually, I actually had... Bean can, yeah, fuck. I actually had nice stuff on me. That's annoying. I was aware I was being shot at from distance, but I didn't know at this point that that was the clan. And that was my first encounter. Run over with an Ioka. Why would there be a naked farming here? Go away. Kill him. You want that oh, shit, you guys are actually nice. Chilling as well. I spawned over here and then I heard a couple of booms. Oh, what's this guy doing? What the fuck? There's another one. You're making a lot of noise. Oh, wait, it's one, two, three. Yeah, man. Make a big boom, boom. Panicked. Right, I'm just gonna check this bag. Oh, he's not come back. I came here because I wanted this uh, pear bench. God, if I'd managed to single click that, he would have been dead. He, he took ages to react. Oh, look at me, I'm a clan and we really little. So that was a solo base as well, by the way. That was a solo base for the record chat. Solo base raided by clan. Not just a clan, I'll call them a Zerg. They are huge. Any good loot in there? A tree sword. And we got enough metal. Perfect. Nighttime eco raid is also good. Now I have to run past them, which is awkward. Repair bench is already over there. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Whoa, matrix. Right, this is the one I was gonna go through. You're probably wondering when I found these eco raids. Well, when I first spawned, I ran basically the length of the island and I came across those two bases. And this one looked like a bunker base eco raid. So I'd go through the roof and hopefully a foundation into the main core. Oh, it's all open. If I jump in, I can't get out. Never mind. Oh, wow. He's not as dumb as he looks. That's actually really anticlimactic. Metal door and then a wood door. Do I have bean can satchel? Bean can? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll raid one. Fuck it. We'll raid one door. So I went home and started crafting enough satchels to raid through one metal door and then after that I'll be able to eco raid the wooden door and hopefully get filthy rich. Your charcoal is current limiting factor. Let's go, um, do we have anything to recycle? Not really. Whoa! I mean that's just embarrassing. I mean that's just really embarrassing. I mean, really? What the fuck just happened there? He didn't even hit me. They're always on their roof. How lame are they? So what I want to do, guys, is like I want to take this external TC here, for example, destroy this wall, and then like build my base in the wall hole. Oh, bean can. That's why it's so important, guys, to always have metal smelting when you start the game, so you can get raids going as quick as possible. Like now I'm in this little predicament. I'm struggling for metal. I'm struggling for everything. I need one stash. That's where I'm going to put the swords. 
I think I'm ready. Wish me luck, guys. I'm going YOLO. Because I know somebody's going to counter me. Am I far enough away? Just. Thought I missed. It's not a great deal of metal. Just gonna wait a little bit in case counters come. I think that's the counters. Told you they'd come. The metal wasn't a big deal anyway. See them get out there so I can eco raid it. What are you doing? Leave my raid alone. There we go. There we go. No, you dickhead. Okay, go, go, go. Get up. Get up. Double barrel? No, where's the double barrel? Ah! Didn't have a double barrel on me. Right, I don't care about all those guns and everything. I just need them leaves so I can do this eco raid. That's my metal back. Got the double barrel. All right, I'm, I'm in an okay situation right now. You think I'm good to start it, guys, or is it a bit risky? I'm also against the clock, guys, because I've got to go to the gym. Fuck, I'm just going to do it. fucking doing it somehow from that fight i've come out on top i come out with a double barrel revy and loads of bows and all my stuff back go figure but right, one more repair guys and we're in fucking trap I'm sure most of you can relate. That is life as a solo in a nutshell. I needed to just stop to take a break to go to the gym, as I said, but I was going to be back and this time with a vengeance. I'm going to spawn on the beach and see if that eco raid's available. This is like, what is this clan compound complex? It's ridiculous. I think you're, de are you decaying? Yeah, you're decaying. That means ceiling's gone, right? Sometimes you just get lucky. Sometimes you get lucky. Oh, that's nice. And allowed us to get out with scripted.
Finding a decayed base with a few guns was exactly what the doctor ordered, but then when I was back at my base, something weird was going on. That wasn't there a second ago, was it? So if I was you, I would revive me right now. Why are you building right next to me? Because this is the only flat land I can find. I, I'm not going to bother you if you don't bother me, all right? Is that fair? Um, I guess that's fair. Is that your base there? Yeah. You could not have built any closer. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is the only remotely flat piece of land I could find. I own a massive compound just over near uh, N7, but I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to move my base over here because it's messed up a little. Are you in their team then, or what? How's it working? Uh, basically, I'm just friends with those guys over there. Um, they're gonna help. They're gonna help me out, and I'm gonna help them out. Okay, cool. All right, I'll say chill. What would you have done in that situation? Somebody's literally building in your doorstep, and then threatens you by saying they can get the clan to raid you. I decided to take the risk that he's part of them because, well, he's pretty close to them, and I don't want to get wiped out just now. So instead, I decided to climb over the wall and take a look at the clan compound for myself. Under the cover of night, I will enter, infiltrate this compound. Could be wearing a ninja outfit for this. My heli. And where the fuck do I park it without getting caught? I decided to fly off in the wrong direction and wait a little bit on somebody else's roof just in case they went out looking for me and found it and then raided my base. I then flew out to the ocean and took a wide berth around the clan and flew in and landed next to my base and built it in into a little garage. I then went back to the clan to see what else I could find. But they were onto me and knew exactly where I'd built in now. However, I had loads of bags in there. I proceeded to continuously spawn in and have a look around to see if I could find any exploits or any weaknesses, but they were onto me. Hello! Oh. James, you're naughty, naughty boy. At least it's a different name now. I had logged off and changed my name to James because originally it was 123, and the guy living next to me knew me as 123. So therefore, if I changed my name, they wouldn't link it together and then raid me. Give me 
boost? You give me boost? I wasn't getting anywhere, so I waited to nightfall and I went back again. I think they're about to go raiding. They're cooking up, they have a scrap heli. It's everyone, so many of them. So I decided it was time to get productive and I went to check out some bases out next to Lighthouse when I saw this. They are going raiding. If I ever saw a time to build in their base, it's now. Town sites are off. Quickly, come on, this is epic. That tar's off. I basically didn't have enough resources to pick out all the turrets in the compound that were turned off, so I was looking for exploits in a base I could quickly do and get in and get some major loot. What I assumed happened is some people died at the raid and then saw me in their compound and turned the SAM sites on. I had to leave. Everyone's mad at me. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Dude, I'm messing with the clan. Dude, I'm messing with the clan. Dude. Dude. Don't eat Duncan. I'm messing with the fucking clan over there. You took my, you took my gyro. No, I didn't. I don't fucking care. You took my gyro. Well, no, I didn't. That's you you, live, on, you live on the island over there, don't you? Yeah, you fucking fuck. fuck. Unless he's friends with the clan, I have no idea why he thinks I stole his heli. Just flat up accusing me. Possible that I did steal his, but who knows. You guys know me. I'm a persistent little shit. So I went right back. He's left all doors open.
Is it James? The guy spawned in just in time on his roof and he closed the doors. How lucky is that? Of course he fucking came online, he left all the fucking doors open. Now, I actually waited in this base for a good hour, hoping he'd make a mistake, open the door and I could run in. But, I eventually got bored and started fighting the other base owners. I shot him. Oh, dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he won't have a clue what just happened. 60 health, took off 57 health, that's crazy. Compounds are dangerous. Go in your base, man. Honestly, if I had some four satchels, I'm pretty sure that door would lead me to loot. What is he doing? What is he doing? They eventually figured out where they're getting shot from and put me down. Oof. I messed around with them for a little bit longer after that, but then decided to craft four satchels and raid, but I thought I'd need some help, so I asked Sora just to assist me with this little scene. Well, let me take you to the base first. Boost me here, there's no key lock on the guard hatch. Hello. Dude, oh my, oh my god, dude, he goes into the corner. I can see it, yeah, I can see it, I can see it. Then it's, oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, food. What do I do? Leave it? Do we rather blow the other one? We'll leave the ladder hatches, I won't remove the ladder hatches. Alright, we'll do the other base, because I feel like the other base could be... Ooh -wee. Thanks to the metal, I can make two key locks as code locks as well, bang. I say we actually proper move in, Sora. Guys, if you're thinking this is the base that I live in, no, you're mistaken. This gets a lot better. Door's still open. He killed me on the roof, but didn't come and close the doors. Point, point down. Okay, sure. Close. Every other door's open, though. I think we have to do it, don't we? Should we, should we farm up nine satchels? Yeah, we should, yeah. This is the time to hit them now, isn't it? Uh, they've made a bit of noise, no, no reaction. They have all finally logged off. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. And after a quick farm in the snow, we had what we needed and started smelting it. So that clan is dangerous, by the way. We might need to take a wide berth around them. Remember, once you get to 45 HP, then you can drop. Why am I not going over? Fuck this. Uh, 10 seconds. Satchels, check. Tool cupboard, check. Ready for some action, Sorty Sora? I know for a fact they'll be over as soon as I hear this. Yeah. Oh, that was quick, Fuse. Fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell, it's all over. Come look at this. Oh my god. Um, cover. What's a pig? Oh, no. Overlaps. What? TC overlap. Can you mean to pick up anything? Yeah, come pick up the rest of it, please. Oh, what have we got in here? Wood. Revolver. Shit. Lots of clones, shit. I mean, it's a four satchel raid, so. The base didn't have much, but this was strike one against the clan. We took everything, stored it in our base in the compound, and sealed it off and griefed it. Griefed. Oh, I might want to squeeze in this one here. That's a... Is there a way to get up to it? In between those two turrets. Apparently, if you just run in a straight line.
<gasps> Ladder hatch opens door. I might. We might need to. Definitely. Oh, no, sorry. Wrong way around wall. Fuck that. If you want to go, you can go. But bring me 4,500 wood and a thousand stone and uh, the four satchels. Four satchels. Sora had to go and I was back to solo, but I was motivated to take down this big base and hopefully they left more than just this one ladder hatch open. Hopefully it will take us all the way. What the hell? The fuck happened to the satchel? Wow, how glitchy is that? down to loot oh yeah oh yeah we found the sulfur empty 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 okay sulfur count up the sulfur 2000 sulfur that's enough, that's enough to go through that door. I have three satchels, I need one more satchel. I'll just make bean cans, fuck it. Unless I got rope. Yes, I got rope. Okay, all good. Using the sulfur I just found in their base, I was able to craft another satchel charge and blow through the next door. Oh my god, it's open. Box of charcoal. It's open as well. You guys are fucking idiots. Jackhammer. Nice, nice. Double barrel. Cloth. Tools. Tommy. Ladder. Okay. Cool. Solid hammer. Okay, okay, okay. Yes! GP. I thought that was another one. Tier two. Satchel. Someone trying to research that. I'm going to use it against you. Another double barrel. More Tommy. Guys, guys, this clan is not the smartest. Oh, it's open. It's open. Armored door. We're so close. Open, open, closed. Two garage door. So one armored door to go through. They've made so many mistakes. I was running out of space in my base, so I decided to make some renovations and make it like my original base design that I'll always make, which is pretty secure. I've already got a tier two from the farm base, and now I'm basically about to take down their biggest base. I started grabbing all the loot from my main base because I was gonna expand the base inside the compound I was moving in. This is it. I need to get this done now. I'm lucky they've left the doors open. They left two doors open. We know that for a fact. Now we're just hoping that there's explosives enough to destroy the tool cupboard. And then we have the whole base. 
Right, I'm nearly through to TC, all because they did a wrong way around wall. Garage, ladder hatch open. Garage door open. Garage door open. Ladder hatch open. Door open. We're gonna take this slow. Shotgun traps. Garage door. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, fuck. How do I take that tower out? Put my stuff on that body. Okay, I got through. Who leaves all their doors open? You're such a noob. So, a few components. Nothing special. Shit. 8 explosive ammo, that's for TC, nice. Honestly, as I look back on this, this turret was so hard to destroy. I know nades are easy, but I didn't have any more gunpowder. Thank fuck for that. TC. Shit. No wood, but we knew that already. Right. More metal. More metal. More stone, a little bit of sulfur, a little bit of metal, one explosive, one bean can. Why are you so poor? This base was a disappointment, but taking control of the biggest base in their compound is like a proper fuck you statement. And as a solo, nothing feels better. With so many of them in their group, it's just a matter of time before they came online and raided me. So I decided to make some base upgrades before continuing with other bases in the compound. Now up we go. More boxes on the outskirts. I went through every room I could eco raid into and just to make sure there was no more loot in the space as I couldn't understand why it was so poor. Okay, oh, yes, need to research that. Oh my god. And all the wood I need to get back up. I even blew into another room, which I thought was a loot room. And look what I found. Oh, oh, what the fuck? My base was beginning to take shape, and I was beginning to feel good about this wipe. There was another base that had a weakness. They had left the front door open, so I brought the jackhammers and eco raided up. And guys, if you're still watching this at this point, thank you so much, first of all. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel, costs you nothing. And well, if you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe at a later date. Thanks so much. Oh, we actually, oh my, we have loot. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was TC. Oh my god. No, it wasn't TC. It was just a box. Another jackhammer replaced my two crappy broken ones. Thank you very much. Interesting.
living inside this compound has basically given me everything I need because I've got everything from the clan. However, I finally ran out of sulfur and I needed some more before I could continue raiding to the tool cup in that base. So I ventured out for only the second time. I grabbed the rest of my loot from my old base and started to transfer it over. And on the way home, or should I say on the way to the clan compound, I decided to go check out the bases by Lighthouse that I wanted to do earlier. This, oh, this was the base I wanted to eco raid into. Glad I didn't, because I'd have got into there and got nothing. Hello, sleeper. Nothing on you. Turn all that off just in case. Oh wow, this base is completely gone. Oh, here we go. Oh shit, man. Com oh fuck. Along this literally. M Whoa, must have just. Oh, oh fuck. Just decayed. Holy shit. Right. After three runs back and forth to the compound base and a load of recycling, I was able to get all the loot back and boy, it was a hell of a lot and it really set me up for this wipe. Holy crap, this inventory is ridiculous. Um, the issue is I have to climb over this stupid wall every time to take it home. So I need to make a hole in this wall. This is obviously not my compound. So that's what I'm going to do. I just found lots of, lots of ridiculous amount of stuff. Fixing the weaknesses, because when these guys come online, they're going to be pissed to find <laughs> their bases raided. Oh, if Carlsberg made clans, they wouldn't have made this clan. So also, I'm going to destroy one of these external TCs and place my own gate. So I'll probably destroy that one, so I'll take down this wall here. Right, that's down. I then saw cargo was out, so I went to try and find a bow and intercept it. It's a speedboat. Oh, there's a boat. On park, park, yes. Yes, come back. Oh, oh, feels bad, bro. Oh, feels really bad. Oh. I recycled all of his scrap and got enough for a tier 3 workbench. I took it home and then noticed that cargo was on its last lap around the map with the boxes slowly being taken. So I grabbed the same boat and sped out. Crates just disappeared on cargo, both of them. This will not end well then. They've just disappeared. Oh, wow, that's really bad. I didn't want to risk it, chat, so I didn't read that. Good shooting. The shoot was terrible. I don't know how that guy didn't kill me. How did he not kill me, chat? It was now time to destroy this tool cupboard, and once I placed down my own gate, I could finally get in and out safely. I hope that first one didn't miss. I then blew through two sets of doors to get to this tool cupboard just to take over this last base and grief it. I've now taken over three bases in this compound 
and well they're gonna log on soon to see this devastation this is the end of the first episode guys i hope you enjoyed it make sure you tune in subscribe for the next one and guys don't forget my sponsor hunting clash they're the ones to sponsor this video it's a free game give it a download give it a go it costs you nothing and it really helps this channel i really do appreciate it if you could do this the link is in the description thanks so much see you next time